Well, I actually, <clears throat> I prefer to stay in the middle, although it is always said that um, you either stand on the right or you stand on the left because the middle is a ditch. Uh, in this case, whether the middle is a ditch, as a philosopher once said, I would prefer to stay in the middle. I think the whole essence of the warning strike by the NSC is to get our government to speed up efforts to ease the pain on our people. If this is purely what the um, labor wants, this is purely what labor wants, I have no opposition to it. What we do not want to see is people inciting other Nigerians to violence. That is condemnable. But everywhere in the world, labor fights for the rights of workers. They are a pressure group. And their responsibility is to ensure that at this time that Nigerians are facing perhaps the most difficult time of their lives. The government shows commitment to easing the pain of the people and doing that in good time. Labor has complained that meetings are not taking place. What they want to see is those efforts ramped up quickly so that Nigerians can begin to feel the value of the palliative measures that government has come up with, the interventionist measures that government has come up with. So now government is asking for two weeks to be able to put some things in place. Now we have ministers in place. By now, the Minister of uh, Labor and Employment must have had meetings with labor. We don't need labor to kind of energize the process. Everyone knows what our people are going through at this time. We know that these measures will help Nigeria to come good in the final analysis. We are not ignorant of the fact that these are necessary steps that have to be taken. I've listened to uh, former Emir of Kano, uh, Muhammadu Sanusi say that yes, people need to be patient with the government. I've listened to even clerics say the same thing. But there are some steps that have to be taken at this time. People want to see those steps taken quickly. That's what labor is all about. We need to bring in vehicles to ease the pain that commuters are facing. We need to bring in vehicles we need to ramp up efforts to convert gasoline-fired engines to CNG-fired engines, which will be a much cheaper option to buying petrol at this time. These are the steps that we must show to our people that, yes, we are taking these steps. We need the minister to address us from time to time to say these are the steps that we are taking from so 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 time, you begin to see this and this and this and that. That will make the government believable. That will make people take to the government. That will make people to trust the government that it is taking steps to solve these problems. There's no need to wait until labor begins to uh, take certain steps before. Okay, BK, BK, oh, let me, let's, let's wrap up with this, but let me quickly take your final submission. Do you think the warning strike can speed up the government efforts. Do you think this warning strike is capable of putting government on their toes to speed up the work they are doing, just like you, 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 you put in your remarks earlier? Yes. Yes. The government, I believe, is not uh, an irresponsible one. The government can see what labor wants. And that's why the government is saying, give us so, so, so time. And I'm, I believe that the steps that Labour has taken now will show to government that it needs to move fast. Because whether we like it or not, yes, Labour, they are just 5% of uh, 
our population, but they speak for a lot more people. So let's do what is right. Let's do what is right. Do our best to ease these pains. The issue of minimum wage, let's see signs that, okay, states, are, states and the federal government are coming together to decide on minimum wage. Let's see that happen quickly. Let's see the issue of vehicles that the president promised we brought into the country. Let's see concrete steps being taken. Let the people see the signs that the government is, an, is on an inexorable path to easing their pains. Frankly, if government can do this, everyone will be happy, not just labor. So these right. are the issues. They are saying they need to do those meetings. Meetings are not taking place. Let those meetings happen.